Hey guys, this is Aaron. We've had a lot of questions lately about how the new geolocation using Digital Globe is going to work with placing models in Google Earth. There's good news, and that is, it works. The even better news is, it's pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at doing that right now. We're going to create a model in geolocation using Digital Globe and place it and view it in Google Earth. I'm going to start by geolocating this model. So I'm going to go to File, Geolocation, and click Add Location. When the Add Location window shows up, during this transition from uh, Google Earth into Digital Globe, we do get a notification that this Layers button right here will allow us to switch providers. So we're going to go ahead and go with our Digital Globe satellite information. I'm zoomed in here on a, uh, a section of Boulder, Colorado that I happen to know is open. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and place a building right here behind this hospital. So I'm going to go ahead and select the region. I might actually zoom out, get a little bit more. Okay, yeah, Get those buildings in there and go ahead and grab that. That's going to import information from Digital Globe and place it, just like always, right onto my modeling window. I'm going to zoom in here now and I'm just going to create a quick building just to reference something that we can pull into Google Earth. Okay, so there we have a uh, quick building that we can pull into Google Earth. What I'm going to do now is go up to File, Export 3D Model. For the file type, of course, I'm going to choose KMZ. This is the type of file that Google Earth can import, so it's the kind I'm going to need to export. I'm going to give it a name. Export, and then I'm going to hop into Google Earth. All right, now in Google Earth, I'm going to zoom in to about the same place. Get, sit back and enjoy this long sweeping zoom into Boulder, Colorado. Awesome, looks good. Zoom in here a little bit. And what I want to do, of course, is go find about the same spot. So I don't have to be zoomed in the exact same spot, but just near where uh, where that model went. So that model was placed right about here. What I'm going to do now is go up to File and Open, and I'm going to open that KMZ file. What Google Earth, Google Earth is going to do then is zoom in very specifically on where I'm going to place it and put the model into my screen, my view there. So now I actually have the model that I created in SketchUp visible inside Google Earth. And you can see that it knows exactly where it's supposed to go. The coordinates are the same. Um, so the fact that it came from a different provider for the geolocation really made no difference. And I have my model available and visible in my Google Earth. Now, if you ever do decide there is some discrepancy on where the model was imported based on geolocation and where it's sitting in Google Earth, you can make modifications. You can actually move this model around. If you come over to the Places menu over here, the Places toolbar, and hit the little down arrow next to your model, you will see this little model link at the bottom. If I right click and hit Get Info, that'll bring up the information about this model as well as give you grips here. If I click on the center grip, I can actually take and move this model wherever I need to. Back here, I actually have a little control also to rotate. See, it, it, uh, it jumps a little bit because it's trying to uh, ride the geometry of the, uh, the Google Earth right there. But this actually gives you the ability to place it exactly where, it is, where you want it to be in case there's any discrepancy between where it was in geolocation and where it ends up on Google Earth. So that is all there is to geolocating a model in SketchUp and then placing it into Google Earth.
Thank you.